Thank you, welcome. So in, term of, uh, in terms of the title for this symposium is a Social Housing, Housing the Social. In light of the current uh, changing and existing uh, political landscape, both here in Holland and internationally, uh, what does this title uh, mean to you and your practice? In my practice, or what does in it mean reality? to you as a yeah. in reality? <laughs> okay. uh, I think right now, housing the social for me represents the ambition to make room for exchange, for dialogue, and for a kind of ongoing conversation about how we want to live together. And how we want to live together, uh, you mean that in the broadest sense of the word, both spatially as well as socially. Definitely. I think maybe in the past the spatial dimension has been overrated. I think many times architects and sometimes artists as well have had the ambition to change the way people live by changing their built environment and I think in a way the effect is limited. I think right now with social networks, with media, with a networked living together and a networked global living together, I think the interaction is much more important than the walls between people or the walls around people. I think uh, we have, have now arrived in a situation where we can actually really live together and talk. And I think the spatial dimension is less important. That's interesting. You, you could argue the, the spatial dimension, eh? the, the, the role of the architect in that. Eh? Let's take that. Mm -hmm. um, has been seen in the past as uh, the visionary for how that social fabric uh, is, is woven together. Um, if you think a visionary is still necessary in our society, then who, who is that visionary when, you're, when considering this notion of housing the social? I think we, in the sense of we the people, are the visionaries. I think this idea that we have to find someone who represents us and is going to tell us what to do and where to go, uh, is uh, a little bit outdated. I think right now many people are disappointed in the people who have represented us in the past, whether they be politicians or uh, representatives of large corporations or other institutions, even in law or even in art. I think right now there is a very deep sentiment that we can take care of our lives together with the people we trust. And those are not necessarily the people in positions of power and authority. Is, you, and you can call that a new form of collaboration, perhaps? Or is that not a, a just term? I don't think it's a new form of collaboration, but I think it's a new situation in the sense that the loss of trust in institutions is, has never been so widespread, I think. So it's not only the economic system that let us down, but also the politicians that were supposed to regulate the economic system have let us down. So that's okay, because uh, I think we can organize our own lives much better. And how do we get along with, um, uh, perhaps my question is, are, does that mean that we leave that behind? And if so, how do we um, uh, get along with it? Because we're, the reality is, is that we're, taking what you've said, we're in a shifting moment. Um, there is a disinvestment, both socially and economically, in, in the notion of the social mm -hmm. uh, through politics and, and the financial sector. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's this self-organization. Mm -hmm. uh, can you maybe elaborate on, for example, your position as a cultural producer, as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. um, how you navigate this friction? Um. Well, I think media, media are tremendously important right now. I think what is new about uh, this time compared to, for example, 68, is that uh, we are networks, we can communicate, we are communicating all of the time, that's social media. And on the other hand, what is not new, but as important as it was at that time, is that mainstream media, broadcast television, is still a very important source of information and is is um, emitting frames for how people think. So I think in my practice, I try to be inside broadcast television and to use that platform to give different messages uh, that are um, not the same as the frames that are repeated over and over again and to make visible certain alternative practices that are very widespread but that never make the news because they are not new, they're not violent, they're not confrontational, they just happen. And in, in my session I will present some examples of that. 
what you're describing actually is a plurality of media and a plurality of communication, of, of, of messages, of, of input, possible or output. Um, at the same time, uh, um, you, you mentioned that, that we are now at a, at a point where we can organize and come up with our solution. So how does this plurality of, of interpretation and of presentation uh, re relate to uh, uh, collaboration, this collaboration that will be necessary to, to, to continue a movement together to something new? Do you mean how do we get from so many different voices to one new system? Yes, and yes, is that necessary even? I, I don't think we have to arrive at one new system, but I do think that at some point we will need new institutions, but I think it's going to take some time. It's too early to, to, uh, to consider it yet. I think right now uh, what is exhilarating to me is that there is a dialogue and it's a global dialogue and it's starting from the point that many people are dissatisfied with the current system. So I think right now my focus is how to enable that dialogue, how to make sure that we can learn from the indignados in Spain, that we know what's happening in Occupy Wall Street and what software are they using in Greek to write a manifesto and maybe we can use the same and we can participate and I think there is so much innovation in technology that is helping this. Uh, for example, all the translation software, uh, all the translator communities that are translating for free and also uh, I remember in Lisbon uh, I interviewed Gustavo Cardoso, uh, who did a lot of research about how these social networks are being used for revolution and social change. And he was telling me how the different movements were communicating that in Spain, the indignados were putting up a banner which said, hey, Greeks, are you sleeping? And the next day, there were lots of banners in, in Greece saying, what's happening to the Italians? We are wide awake. And then in Italy, so I think this is fascinating and this could never have happened in 1968. And, and that makes it very different. And uh, I think it's not going to lead to a system, but um, in a way, it, it is a system. And that's something also that, for example, Joanna Coniel, the filmmaker I have in, in my session, is very much emphasizing. She's saying, people are always asking us every day. She was occupying the Plaza Catalunya in Barcelona. She was one of the indignados, she still is. And she, she said, we are constantly being asked, what are you going to do? What is your program? But we are doing it. We are, we are communicating differently. We are talking to each other. Uh, we are exchanging, uh, we are using barter, we are lending money without interest, uh, we are living a different life, we're not waiting for it, we are doing it and just the fact that you practice your life differently, that you keep to your values and that you do that with other people who share those values, that is already a change and many people are doing that and but lots of time it's not so visible in the media so mm -hmm. this is also where I hope to play a role. And in that is uh, according to you where that social uh, lay where, where that can be found? To me the essence of social is sharing a conversation and I think that has to be involving media at, at some point in some way and of course it has a spatial dimension as well uh, but that's not where my focus is. And you mentioned it already a, a little bit what, what, you, what the symposium will mean for you as, yeah. as a moderator and organizer of one of the talks. Uh, what do you think is the ideal outcome of, of, of this symposium? Well, uh, last night already at the dinner, I, I think it's an extraordinary moment. Uh, in a way, it's a coincidence, but it is an extraordinary moment to bring all these people together from all over the world. And as I was talking at the dinner table last night, everyone has been in some kind of Occupy movement in their city, or at least they have visited and they have revisited. And uh, I think it's extremely exciting to be here together at this time with all these people who have different experience in art, in architecture, in thinking, in social geography, in media, and to be able to talk to Together. So I think maybe by coincidence you organize like uh, some kind of, you know, potentially very uh, important political meeting that might have practical outcome. What you're describing now is also a, a cultural field, which is uh, whether at the dinner table here at the symposium, f hopefully also uh, finding each other ever more and becoming a stronger network as you describe. Um, uh, uh, possibly uh, not everyone is, is, at the, is at the table 
uh, for this. Yeah. Who, who is necessary to have here? Who, who, can, who can this symposium not miss in, in terms of heading for that uh, point on the, maybe not a point on the horizon, but heading for the horizon? You mean who is not here who should have been invited? If you were to organize the symposium yeah. and you were to consider the notion of social housing, housing the social, what, what party would you not want to miss uh, to be present? Uh, that's very hard for me to say. Yeah. I would say maybe parents. <laughs> yeah. Yes, as you know, the producers of the next generation. <laughs> and of the next social... Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's very important to keep in mind, you know, that people don't have just a professional identity. They are connected in all kinds of ways to their own parents, to their children. And I think if you ask me who is, should definitely be represented today in this discussion about housing the social, yeah. I would say parents as producers of the next generation. Yeah. <laughs> that's a nice answer, actually. <laughs> <laughs>